oh no, I've fallen and I can't get up. I'm going to press my IoT button and signal my twin sister for help. Hey twin sis, I got your text message that you've fallen and you can't get up. Let me wave my magic wand and you'll be all better again. Thanks sis, I'm sure glad I have my IoT button to signal for help. Hey, this is Caroline and I hope you enjoyed the little parody skit that I just performed. I do not have a twin sister. Uh, surprise, surprise, it was a dramatization and it was just me uh, in that video. Uh, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to configure and set up an AWS IoT button. This is a Wi-Fi enabled button that you can purchase straight off Amazon. I'm going to show you how to text specific messages to family members or friends through their mobile device. Before we get started, let me go over the disclaimers. Uh, number one, this video is provided as is and without warranty. That's just my way of saying please don't sue me over this. This is a technical video uh, and nothing else. If you are having a medical emergency, please call 911. This is not a medical device. This is I'm not giving out any medical advice and I'm not a medical professional. Uh, this is not a paid endorsement of Amazon or this product. I purchased this item with my own money. Uh, the hardware used in this tutorial is what they call an IoT or Internet of Things device. It is Wi-Fi enabled and it will work on one Wi-Fi network, the one you configure it for, or in this case, the one I'm going to configure it for in this video, which leads me to my next point, which is if the power goes out or your Internet connection that you're using for this device goes out, the button stops working completely. So um, I would hate for anything to happen to your family, which is why I'm putting all these disclaimers out there. Uh, so, you know, watch this video for entertainment purposes or, or configure SMS messages for, for anything else. Uh, but this was just, just a fun way of introducing the video. So now let's go over the items you'll need for this project. So number one, you'll need the AWS IoT button. This is a second generation button. You can order it straight off Amazon. I'll put the links below. Uh, and I also have a note on here, don't throw away the box. So this is the box that it came in. There's a barcode right on the front uh, that will make setting this up a lot easier. So please don't throw away the box. If you do, it's, it's not the end of the world, but, but the way that I do this tutorial, you'll need the box. All right, next you'll need a lanyard. So this is a free lanyard I got from the last conference I went to. It's got a nice little clasp here and I'm just gonna hook it on and there we go. Um, so hopefully you've got one of these. If not, you can, you can buy one or ask a friend for one. You'll also need a computer. Uh, Windows or Mac is fine. The screenshots I'll show you are all done on a Mac just because it's, I, I'm just a lot more familiar with how to do it that way. You'll need an AWS account, put a link below to create one. You do need a credit card. Uh, uh, with your computer, you also need uh, the source code on GitHub. I'll put a link below to that. You'll need a mobile device uh, because there is a specific mobile app that I use to configure the button. So, um, so all the links are provided in the description field. Now I'm ready to get started. So here is the button and just to show you that the this comes off pretty easily it's a little and it just pops right on off it's a little it's the little class that you can use to put your lanyard on and off and you can put this on your keychain or anything so and the way that you know that the button worked is i'm going to short press it here so there's you can do a short press like this and the way you know it works is it starts blinking, so it's sending out a signal. When it turns green, you know that the signal has been sent properly, and I should be receiving a text message momentarily here. And uh, here's the little text message that came across. All right, uh, so you can program it for three different presses. One I just showed you is a short press. There's also a double press. And same thing will happen, the light will blink, and then if it's successful, the green light will light up. And then my phone uh, will, will text me. And last but not least is the long press, which is a second and a half press. So 
I usually count to three. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, let go, it starts blinking again, and then when the green light comes on, that means it was a successful send, and sure enough, my phone likes just, so, so this tutorial, uh, we're gonna program one phone number, this phone number, and we're gonna press, we're gonna have three different messages, one for one short press, double click, two presses, or a long press, which is the, you know, help, press, which you'll see later in the program. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the Play Store and I'm going to search for the AWS IoT button. So it's right here, AWS IoT button. And the first one that comes up says AWS IoT button dev development. So let's set, let's select that one and we're going to hit install and I'm going to accept terms and conditions and click accept, touch accept, and we'll download. And I will, now I've got it download, it's, a, it's installed on my mobile device and I'll click open. Welcome to the AWS IoT button app. This app lets you connect your button to AWS IoT, it configures Wi-Fi, provisions the button with security credentials, and tells AWS IoT what to do when the button is pressed. Swipe. All right, so ready to use Lambda Function Blueprints. This is really key to making this super easy to do. So I'm gonna sign in with my AWS account, and it says I haven't connected a button yet. I'm in my correct region, I haven't connected a button yet, I'm gonna set up for AWS IoT button. So you register, configure, and then you set the button action. And I'm gonna agree and get started. All right, so this is why it's so important to hold on to the box, because there's this nice little barcode on the box that I'm gonna scan. So I'm gonna click scan barcode, and I'm gonna scan the second barcode on this box. Now if you don't have this, you can type in the DSN number All right, and I'm, I, and it's given it a name of IoT button 5GC5A. I'm going to register the button. Now it says press the button for six seconds until the blue light fla flashes. So 1001, 1002, 1003, 1004, 1005, 1006. There it goes, there's the blue button. And now I get to pick the Wi-Fi network and type in the password. So this is really key here because it's only configured for one Wi-Fi at a time. It's not like your mobile device that's always looking for Wi-Fi hotspots and then goes into the LTE network uh, when it can't find Wi-Fi. So please be aware, if your power goes out, your button stops working. If your internet goes out, your button stops working. And now the button's being configured, and we see the lights changing on our device. And we are on the internet. Now we can create a Lambda function. So I'm going to choose send SMS Node.js. It's the third one down on this of my choices. And so you want to type in your phone number. It's very important. I'm assuming you're in the US. I'm in the US that you always put the number one first and then your phone number. So I clicked OK, and then I'm going to touch Set Action at the bottom. And at this point, we should be able to single press the button, and I should be able to see a text message on my phone at this point. And it's going to be a generic text message. So let's, so let's see if that works. One press, lights up white, and then green, and I should be uh, viewing a text message on my phone. And sure enough, here it is. This is the text message, my phone, hello from your IoT button. So this is the generic text message that comes up when you set it up. All right, so that's great. So now we've got our AWS IoT button set up on our Wi-Fi, on my Wi-Fi network, and I do have it working to, to press the button and I do receive the generic text message that comes across. So next, we will customize the messages and the short press double press and long press for this device. 
Hey guys, this section is a screen record of my computer. First thing I'm going to do is go to aws.amazon.com. The link is in the description field below, of course. And I'm going to sign in. And I'm signed into my console here. I'm going to go to Lambda here. If, if this doesn't pop up the way that it does on my computer, because the last thing I did was Lambda to set up this tutorial, type in Lambda and uh, you'll see run code without thinking about servers. Click that, and then you'll go into your Lambda functions. Then you want to click on last modified twice, and that'll give you the last Lambda function that you touched, which is the one that was automatically created by that mobile app we did in the last step. So here it is, IoT button, and the number of my button, um, and the SMS Node.js. Right there, I'm going to click on that. And this is really cool because it set up the Wi-Fi for you, it set up the trigger for you, it set up everything for you. It's great. The only thing we're going to do is just modify the code slightly uh, with Node.js. So this is so it, gave, it gives you this default code, which is awesome. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over to my GitHub right here, and I provide this link in the description field below. And you want to click on Lambda Code for AWS Panic button and you can click on raw and that way you can get pick up all of the code so um, select all copy then go back over to your lambda function here select all delete and then paste now before we move on let's 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 look at this code for a second on my screen now first this is the generic stuff that we have then we have, I put constant adult child. I just couldn't think of anything better at the moment that I wrote this. And what you want to do is you want to replace with your phone number right here. So type in, you know, whatever your phone number is, leave the one right there, assuming in the US, and then, and that's, that's your phone number. All right, so second, what you want to do is you want to uh, change the messages. So the first event type I put on there is the long press, which is the help, I can't get up press, the emergency press. So I put help, I've fallen, and I can't, and I forgot the word get, so I'm going to type in get up. All right, so, so personalize this the way you want the message to read. All right, next is the single click, one touch of the button, short click, and it says, please call me when you get a chance. Thanks, mom. So I'm going to change this to thanks, sis. All right. Uh, just personalize this the way you want and then of course last but not least is double double press of the button and and you can and it says uh, can you come over tonight so anyway so those are the three things I've programmed on here I've changed the phone number I've changed the messages now I'm gonna scroll back up here and I'm gonna click save and that takes care of it so now let's go back to my button and my phone and let's see if these messages come across let's get back to our button here we have configured it for short press double press and long press here so let's try it out and see if it works let's do short press first and we see it blinking hopefully you can see this in the video and then it goes into green so hopefully there should be a text message popping up on my phone here shortly and sure enough, here is the short press, which is the message, uh, please call me when you can, thanks, sis. All right, so we'll, we'll swipe that away. Let's try the double press now. And lights up, goes green, and then, and sure enough, can you come over tonight? It's a message that comes up. And swipe that away. Let's go for the long press now. Green light. And you've gotten the help of fall and I can't get up message that comes across. Before I go, I want to show you one last thing, which is how to change the Wi-Fi network on your button. So we're going to go back to our phone here and we're going to um, launch the app that we used to set up the button to begin with and that is the AWS button 
and you see the button right here. I'm going to touch it and it's going to give me three choices. One is to change the Wi-Fi, two is to select a different Lambda function, and last but not least is deleting. So let's change the Wi-Fi by touching the Wi-Fi button, and it says press the button for six seconds until the blue light flashes. So this is the, the same setup we did at the very beginning. So if we set this up on your home network and then you take it to your sister's house, your mother's house or something to set it up, or your dad's house, you're going to go, through, you're just going to follow the steps right here and it's going to lead you through setting up on a new Wi-Fi network. And everything else will be the same and it should work great. So I just want to show you that before I go. Hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. I hope you found it entertaining and, uh, and please use it at your own risk. Thank you. Take care. Bye.